In Yakach in Kisumu County, a joyful mood fills the air. Members of Achego Women's Group inspect their farm of pigeon peas, which will be ready for harvest. Ordinarily, the area is prone to floods, and the women who own the one-acre piece of land learned the hard way through experimenting on which crop would thrive best here. The pigeon peas are flood resistant. Alafu wakati kiangaza ilikuja bada ya hiyo kufuwa nyingi, tena hii kukufa, ili resist hiyo kiangazi. Mpaka sa hii tunavuna, wale wengine ya wako vuna chochote, hiyo kunde ilifagiliwa na maji, hiyo pingamila itikia ilifagiliwa na maji. They eventually settled on pigeon peas, which is able to adapt to the climate. Wale tulipanda the pigeon peas, what wangon wa chambushi wa me harvest around 16 sacks. The women are among several Kenyan farmers who have to deal with the vagaries of climate change. In Karicho, farmers prepare to plant crops in uncertain times, and owing to the limited size of farms, most have to till the land throughout the year, making it less productive every passing year. The Climate Change and Food Security Program has partnered with farmers to measure greenhouse gas emissions in this area, including elements such as humidity. This banana plantation in Caricho County is one of the 60 farms where researchers measure emissions. The results from these experiments are used as benchmarks for lobbying by the government at the UN high-level climate change forums to benefit farmers. A lot of the information and data that's collected from estimating greenhouse gas uh, emissions on farm is uh, first uh, useful for the purposes of prioritizing uh, agriculture adaptation and mitigation actions. So if we know certain practices that work on farm uh, and if we have uh, knowledge about uh, their emission capacities and emission potentials, we can be able to work with farmers uh, in a way that uh, allows them to change to uh, more resilient practices. Professor of Climatology at the University of Cape Town is one of the authors of the Intergovernmental Panel of Climate Change Report, whose latest documentation paints a grim picture on threats posed to climate change. The latest report cites a decrease of up to 2% each decade in yields of staple crops like maize, wheat and rice. It seems that the worst is to come in 10 or 20 years. This is where we will see the impact of global warming the most. But as climate experts gather in Poland to discuss the way forward after the commitment period of the Kyoto Protocol ended, there is already pessimism that like the past years, the Warsaw meeting will not yield much. We can expect some country like China or Brazil or some countries that do not want to reduce the CO2 to try to prevent agreement to occur. Already, a drought alert has been sounded in Kenya and pastoralist communities are bearing the brunt. And while the women of Nyando sing away happily, having discovered the hardy pigeon peas, which is boosting food security in the region, other farmers in different communities who are not so lucky will be banking on the commitment of developed nations to enact a new climate deal. Rosalia Opondo, Channel One Weekend.